Wednesday and Sunday, what have you guys been focusing on just in the short time you've had practice? Um, m most of the time, you know, you're, you're trying to get better at the things you want to get better at. Um, and yet at the same time, you're trying to prepare for a certain team. And um, for for us, you know, the, the, the you know, you you have off on Thursday because you play Wednesday and then you get two days to get ready. And, um, you, you know, you look at the games and you look at some of the trends that are happening in the game. Like, you know, how do we how do we how do we offensively um, try to build on we got 37 in the first quarter and we got 15 in the second quarter like what causes that you know do we get the same shots do we just not make them did we stop getting those shots did, what happened so you're looking at that and you're looking to see how you can address that um, you know and basically you're just trying to take care of yourself and at the same time this is what we're going to face on Sunday so let's you know, just spend time on that. But it's um, preparation for games is not that much different game to game, you know, except for this much about the other team. You mentioned inconsistency being a big issue on, after the game on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you know, with a lot of this, a lot of that is just the rotation on the rotation and the line of it being so up and down. Mm -hmm. Is that anything else? Is it chemistry? Is it just, is it just purely the rotation? Well, I think I think the. Um, they're all related, you know. Um, you know, it's not great to only play six players, but it actually is. You know, it's not great to um, to have a few options to put in. Because the more people you put in your rotation, the harder it is to keep that chemistry, to keep that flow. And especially when rotation is every kid coming off the bench is a freshman. So those two things don't go together, you know, and you have to you have to wait for that to happen. When that is, I'm not sure. Sometimes early, sometimes late, sometimes, you know, some teams reach that gelling point and some teams don't. You know, size is what it is, but can the approach to rebounding that maybe you guys had the other night, can that be translated to maybe a bigger, better opponent? It can be. I mean, there's only so much you can compensate for. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that you can compensate for is, hopefully, is how do you run better offense when you're going with your big lineup? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you get more movement with your big lineup? Um, because if you think about the fourth quarter against Kansas and that first quarter against um, Ball State, we had a small lineup out there a lot of the times, and mm -hmm. it just looks different. It looks there's more room on the court to do things. Uh, so we're probably going to score more points maybe if we have the smaller lineup in, but we might not be able to defend and rebound. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the answer is to that is and hopefully we can make the other team um, adjust to us every once in a while mm -hmm. um, and we have to get better we have to get a little bit more aggressive a little bit tougher um, and sometimes it's simple, just as simple as that you know rebounding is guys who want to rebound rebound the guys who want the ball go get it and it's a um, yeah, it's a it's a difficult thing. And when you have great rebounders, you rebound. And when you don't, it's a struggle. Yeah, so it's you, a struggle. Yeah. So do you try more of a team approach to rebounding? Yeah, and that's what you're. You know, we spend time on. Um, all right, we don't have the size that we would like to have, so. Um, how do we have to play defensively that allows us to, to to not get hurt? You know, and we've been down that road before. I mean, uh, when we had Gabby and, you know, 
playing center for us, and, and we didn't have a really big team, but we were able to hold our own on the boards. We, you know, we had an, ag- an aggressive, much more aggressive mentality. So we're trying to do that. We're trying to create maybe a more aggressive mentality defensively, and, and I think that will help us. You've always had bigs that can pass the ball really well and yeah. run the offense down low. Do you feel like that is something that could be lacking in the offensive struggles this year? Yeah, yeah. I think I think you have to you have to have uh, the ability to score in the lane. You know, so those people have to get the ball, and then they've got to be able to convert. Um, and the way you do that is obviously you got to. You got to knock in your share of shots to loosen up everything. Um, but you know, Leah, <clears throat> Leah's become a pretty good passer. Um, Ice is still trying to figure it out, you know, but she's young um, and she goes, you know, off and on when it's really good, it's good. Um, so that's. Sometimes, you know, as a coaching staff, you have to change the way you run your offense where less people touch the ball. Not the way I like to play, but sometimes that's what you have to do. You know, keep the ball in the hands of, you know, only certain players. Where do you think Paige is coming back? Uh, You you said before the season that it wasn't going to be perfect right away, so where is she in that progression? Um... I think it's still early, you know, that she has great days and she has okay days. There's days in practice when she's really, really, really um, almost looks like she did, you know, a couple years ago. And then there's days when it's a little bit more of a struggle for her um, to find a rhythm, to get any kind of, you know, any kind of flow or whatever. Um, and, you know, being able to try to balance that, um, I want to handle the ball, but I also have to make a lot of shots. And I think, the, you know, like the other day, the more shots other people make, the less, you know, the less pressure there is on her to make, to make every shot. And again, that might that might mean you know defensively we got to make some changes so that we can play more more transition oriented offense instead of and limit how many times we're in, we're we're running our half court offense. That's probably the easiest way to to do that. Does her does her knee feel fine? And it's just a matter of getting in a rhythm. Yeah. I mean, she had 32 and we lost. She had 27 and we lost. So I don't think Paige is the problem. You know, um, I, th- I think the the danger is everyone thinking that you know we're going to watch Paige play, and sometimes they get caught doing that. And we need more people contributing. That's the bottom line. You said a couple weeks ago that you were still trying to figure out how to play Paige, KK, and Nick at the same time. Mm-hmm. Do you like how they played together so far? They all started on Wednesday. Yeah. At times it looks really good. It's it's kind of like the story of our team right now. You know, at times it looks really good. And at times it's a struggle. Um, again, Nika wants the ball in her hands. Paige likes to have the ball in her hands. And KK loves to have the ball in her hands. So something, you know, and you always want to keep your best players on the floor as much as possible. And they're three of our best players. So... It's going to take a little bit of time for that to get sorted out. Do you have a preference who has the ball in their hands? Um, mm, I mean, you know, Nika, Nika had that role all of last season. I thought she handled it really, really well. Um, you know, you take the outlet pass, you run down, you throw it to Lou or, or AZ, and you jump up and down because you got 13 assists, you know? So you got to find a way to you know, combine that with KK likes to attack the basket. So 
So we gotta, we just, we just gotta, gotta figure it out. And so far, we haven't figured it out. And when we do, it looks like it did in the first quarter, the other day. But it's hard to sustain that. It's hard anything, to sustain that. Anything new on uh, Caroline or Ayana? Or, or yeah, I, I don't, I don't anticipate Ayana being back. You know, we've tried everything with her, and um, you know, it's a. Uh, it's a long, long-standing issue since high school, and everything that we've tried has not responded to it very well. Um, so, and with Carol, you know, same thing. I, I, I just don't know where her situation is. Um, but, I mean, there's a chance that both of them could be out for quite some time. When you say don't know if Yana will come back, you mean this year? Yeah, yeah, for 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 this season. I think if she's got to get more work done on her knee, then that would be end, the end of it for her. So that you know, they're trying to exhaust all the possibilities. You still wearing those lucky beads? They're not. They're lucky. not very lucky. No. I keep adding one, but I got to get rid of some. They're bad ones. Even my rosary. Isn't helping right now at all. Do you, do you believe that the outside shooting can be there this season for this team? Can it be? Yeah. Not consistently like it would have been, you know. Um, but it goes in spurts. You know, there are days when, you know, Ash is making her share, Q's making her share, Paige is making her share. So, yeah, there are days when, yeah, it can be. Um, and there are days when it isn't so I, I don't know we went through stretches last year where it was really hard to get a bunch of threes up it was really hard for us uh, so sometimes you have to find another way to win other than just relying on that you know. were, were Aaliyah's struggles a couple games just because the outside shooting wasn't there and people could collapse on her or did she just not have the right mindset coming into the season? I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. Um, I thought, you know, what was the difference between the Texas game and some of the other games? I don't know. Except that, you know, it was the same team around her pretty much. And, you know, it's, um, you know, when the, uh, when you got to work really, really hard, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't bode well, you know, she got to work so hard to get shots. And I think one game, you know, it was like a, a two for 12 game or something like that, where a lot of those were, were 15 footers. So, you know, there's going to be games like the other night against Texas where she's dominant, and now we have to find a way to get her to have more of those games. So it's not any different than you know our team as a whole right now, the consistency. How is just the team spirit and like the mentality right now? I mean, this is their third year dealing with all this, especially the upperclassmen, the newcomers. This is their first time, but they've obviously heard about the past two years. Mm-hmm. How have you just seen the team's mental state right now? Well, it's not uh, it's not ideal, you know. Mm. The um, the four seniors, all they know is the bubble, playing in front of nobody, and playing shorthanded. So, it does wear on you. It does wear on you, and it can, you know, mess with your mind a little bit, and it does take its toll a little bit. And um, you know, you can only ask so much of people to fight through certain things before it becomes um, a little too much and obviously we're not there yet but I can I can see that there's a you know there's a big difference between um, uh, June and today There were a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities in June, 
man. Everyone knew it. And I think maybe those possibilities are fewer. And I think they know it. So, you know, it's on us as, as coaches to try to f- figure that out for, for, for going forward. But it's not easy, no. It's not easy. And you can say, well, this is the hand that we've been dealt. Well, if you keep getting de- dealt the same hand three years in a row, you go to a different table. Or you go play a different card game. Or you go to a roulette wheel. You go someplace else, but you don't stay and keep doing what, you know, what doesn't work. Unfortunately, we can't do that. We can't do that. Is it just bad luck, or do you think there's a... Well, if you, if you think about it, um, what else What else can you uh, uh, attribute it to? Um, but there's, there's certainly an, an epidemic... Um, I mean, take a look around the country and how many kids are, are not playing for whatever reason, you know. Um, and some things you just have to shake your head. You know, like, what should you do? Lift more weights so Carol doesn't get hit in the head? What do you do? More conditioning drills so Dorka doesn't break her wrist? You know, Aubrey has back surgery. What, what are you supposed to do? So some of these things are just inexplainable in some ways. I mean, do you talk to Hoodie no. at all about overuse or anything, you know, what the, what the program is? Or? No, no. I, we were in the National Championship game two years ago, right? And as I said, um, when kids come, come here from high school and they've got issues, uh, you try to address them as best you can. It doesn't mean you're gonna you're gonna be able to address all of them. Um, as I said, I, I think the um, the un, the unknown is what's probably the the most perplexing thing. Like you you do you do everything right. If Paige if Paige was gonna hurt her knee, it should have happened freshman year. She was too slight, too skinny, and not strong enough. Then she gets in the best shape of her life and tears her ACL. And Jenna's in the best shape she's ever been in and tears her Achilles. No, it's just, yeah, we're in a bad run right now. And maybe that's the, that's the price we pay for 2004 to 2016, where Everything went perfectly according to plan. Do you think maybe in men's as well as women's basketball at this age, maybe they just spend too much time on the court, maybe they should give their body a little more of a rest during the summer? Or do you think that that might be part of why think, you see the knees and the feet? Yeah, the- I think you're, what you're seeing is, um, uh, according to all the experts that I mm-hmm. talk to, is that um, the... The um, the fact that you're playing the same sport every day, all year round, since before you were in high school, mm-hmm. or when you got to high school, can't possibly be be good for you. Mm-hmm. And everybody's told, you know, I got to work out. I got to, you know, I have a trainer, and mm-hmm. you know, so I never give my body a chance to rest. I never give my, you know, my muscles a chance to to heal. Or anything, you know, because you're just playing, 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 playing. Um, hell, it's never been easier to be a college basketball player. You're only allowed to practice 20 hours a week, mm-hmm. and that includes everything. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you think back to those days. You know, there was no time limit on practice. Now, at the same time, there was also you didn't, you didn't have access to them in June. You didn't have access to them in September. They left school at the end of the season and you didn't see them again until 
on the court playing basketball until October. So, what's what's the ideal situation? I don't know. Like rest, and then you say, well, they're not ready, so that's why this happens. Or let's train, let's get them ready. Well, you overtrain them. Uh, you know, we we aren't doing anything different than we did during all those years when we didn't have these. So, you know, I don't know what the I don't know what the answer is. You know, I really don't. I wish I did, but I don't. And I, I, you know, it can't, it can't be, you know, it's, it's because you're not doing this or because you're doing this, because you're doing everything that science tells you to do. So that's, that's either good or bad, I guess. Do you think the pandemic had any effect on that as well? What's that? Do you think the pandemic had any effect with sports being paused for so long? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, there's probably, you know, a whole host of things. And you can just reach in and pull one out and go, yeah, that makes sense. But really, none of it makes sense. You know, none of it makes sense. None of it at all. You know?